Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a tutorial with the look that you see here. It's very pink champagne inspired. I love looking at pink champagne. I love pink champagne. I love how girly it is. I, I love the song pink champagne. Um, and actually, one of the shadows that I use today is called pink champagne. So that's kind of what the look was drove off of. This is actually the look that I wore at my graduation this year. So I love it. It's very smoky yet wearable. Um, I think you can achieve this look. It's very easy. It's not that many products, but we will be fierce today. So give me a subscribe down below if you guys enjoy my tutorials and leave a suggestion down below of the next tutorial that you want to see. So with all that being said, let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to use mainly the Modern Renaissance palette. I know if you guys are like sick of me using this, I'm sorry. It's the best palette ever. So I'm going to start out with a little bit of Golden Ochre. Mixed with a little bit of burnt orange, and we're just gonna put that straight into the crease. This will add a little bit of warmth since we're gonna add the pink, pinky tones and um, kind of like the smoky tones. So like it'll add a little bit of warmth so we don't look a too raccoonish, if you will. <laughs> so we're just gonna put that into the crease and a little bit above. And it just acts as a transition shade. I took I took these two colors right here, golden ochre, burnt orange. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of Relgar, Realgar. Still don't know how to say it. And we're just gonna take a touch, a touch of that. <laughs> and we're just gonna put that straight into the crease. No higher, no lower, just the crease. And blend it out. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of warm taupe right here. A little bit of warm taupe. And put that over everything a little bit lower than real gar so we get a little bit of the real gar color but then we kind of have like a nice gradient <laughs> so I put a little bit of Ben Nye banana powder under my eyes just to kind of catch the fallout from the dark shadow that we're gonna put on later but First, I'm going to take the shadow from uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills called Pink Champagne. This is actually the color that I'm basing the whole look off of because I love it so much. It's just like high shine. It's just amazing. So before I put that on, I'm going to dampen my brush with a little bit of MAC Mineralized Charge Water and just kind of really get that, get that in there. And we're going to go straight on the lid. See how shiny that is? Ugh, I love it so much. And the color is like to die for. Now to smoke out the outer corner of our eye, I'm gonna first take Embark from MAC, which is this plum shade right here. It's amazing with this shade because it has that kind of very pinky undertone while still being smoky. And we're just gonna pack that on the outer corner. And the more you pack on, the more you have to blend out to really get that intensity that you want. And also while being not so sloppy and kind of like very blended. <laughs> now to really give me that intensity that I want, I'm going to take Noir from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the perfect black matte shadow. Like it's just so good because it's not too like... It's not too chalky. It's not chalky at all when it goes on, but it feels kind of very like dry, which I don't know if I'm explaining that right because every eyeshadow is dry, but it feels kind of like a nice texture to work with and it's very, very blendable. I love it so much. And we're going to put that on the outer, outer corner, like a little farther than Embark and take a little bit up into the crease. Where do my blender brush go? Oh. I'm going to add a little bit more pink champagne of what we lost when we were blending, which is what I mean by adding on and um, blending out, adding on, blending out, you know what I mean? 
so you get that right intensity. And not to blend out that black, I'm going to take Real Gar because I feel like it'll give us a nice gradient effect with um, adding a little bit of warmth will be perfect for the look. So this is really, really optional, but I'm going to do a little bit of a wing liner using Wet n Wild's Fergie Little Black Dress Cream Liner. Um, it looks good without, too. I think it'll look really good without because you have that smokiness, and if you just smoke out the lower lash line, you'll be good. But I think, for me, I like a wing, all right? <laughs> so we're just going to add a small little wing. my house of lashes iconics yes i wore these so many times and i did so many tutorials with them i'm sorry they are my favorite they will never not be my favorite <laughs> i'm gonna go do the other eye add these and i'll be right back shouldn't take long <laughs> stick around now i'm gonna highlight up under the eye with a little bit of banana powder from anastasia beverly hills It's like this look is intense, yet it's still pretty, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, oh, I love this look so much. Now I'm going to bronze up my face with my Soft Focus Finishing Powder from Black Radiance in Milk Chocolate Finish. Now to finish the lower lash line, I'm going to take a little bit of warm taupe from the uh, Modern Renaissance palette again. Before we go on, I'm going to put a little bit of black pencil into my waterline. And now, going with a little bit of Cypress Umber. This is like a beautiful brown shadow. And now on the very outer corner, I'm going to take Noir again, like on the very, very outer, to make that uh, gradient smoky effect again. Hmm. So now on the inner part of our eye, I'm going to take that pink champagne shade, which I love. I'm just going to put a little, little dab. <laughs> and now for an inner corner highlight, I'm going to use Max Nylon right here. This very intense white shade, which I love also. Now for blush, any mauve tone blush will work. I'm going to use this one from the e.l.f. palette. I still don't know the name of this palette. It's been going on for like a year. I still don't know the name. <laughs> but uh, I'll try to link it down below. And we're just going to... Mm Now for highlight, I'm going to use this Hard Candy Highlighter in the shade Moonlight or Honeymoon. And um, it's just a very, very natural highlight, which is what I'm going for since the eye is so intense. Um, but I still need a bling, okay? I do want a little bit more glow, so I'm going to use MAC Oh Darling. This is limited edition. I keep on saying that, but I don't want people to go look for it and then it's like not there because it is limited edition. So, you know a little bit a 
little bit more of a glow. So now for lips, I'm gonna go ahead with Bow and Arrow from Kat Von D. It's the perfect lip pairing with this eye. I love it. Actually, I want to go a little lighter, so I'm going to go with Revlon Nude Attitude. <laughs> and go directly in the center. And your look is complete. So yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I love this look so much. It's very wearable, yet it's very dramatic, so that's what I love about it. Um, and you can wear it in summer. This is like an everyday, an everyday intense look to me. To me. To me. So if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.